Yep. Um, so the advantage of this node is the remote aspect of it. So you can do this 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 node is showing a couple different things right now here. Um, this is this is the remote phi unit, right? Where we're just all all remote phi is about. I don't know. Are you familiar with remote phi just in, in no, general? Tell me. Tell me. Yeah. Okay. I want to learn. I've been hearing. Sure. I've been hearing. I'm on the finance side. Okay. So I've been sure. hearing about it, but not. So remote phi is something that. It's it's one of the, it's a technology, right? But you don't put it in because it's new and it's cool. You put it's good, it needs to solve a problem for you, right? Whether it be technical or performance or financial, some reason, you know, a number of them together. So the whole point of this is to take basically the conversion part of IP to RF, that final conversion piece that normally was inside the CMTS, but also creates the most heat, takes up the most space in the CMTS, and then the little RF connectors take up a lot of space. So if I can take that out and put it out here, or even in a little shelf in the head end rack at a remote place, I now can get more density in my CMTS, but by putting it right out in the edge in the field, so totally in the field, I make it perform better. I now create my signal closer to the user. If I create my signal closer so to the user, the, in less balancing. the integrity of the signal is going to be better. Uh -huh. It loses, if, if I'm launching it in the head end versus here, it's going to be better quality. So it's a complementary technology if you've heard of DOCSIS 3.1. And here's we're, a we're at, we have not upgraded to three point one. Right, we can live in three point for a while. Does does it? Can you do remote fi with absolutely anything? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it it works with anything under the sun. This is a little. I mean, you can take it. Okay. You got to give you a little slight okay. how to. I mean, so it's it's technical, but the whole point is you can you can consolidate. So. You know, IPv4 addresses are short supply, right? You probably heard your guys talk about that, running out of addresses. If you have multiple CMTSs, you have separate sets of addresses there. When you can put them all into one, you gain some back. Everybody's benefit of that is different. Something we did, so we own some systems ourselves in Wisconsin. Um, we have lots of little cities all over the place with small CMTSs. But they all have big competition. We, we basically have one yeah. CMTS. Okay. We're going to have to go to a second CMTS sure. in the next year or sure. so. So one thing, you can get more density out of that CMTS if you do some remote fly, especially the field. You get performance benefits. So those are all, that, that helps the operational side. So bring your OPEX down, right? If your guys aren't having to run any truck rolls, that's a great thing. <laughs>